afternoon or early late evening. Um, I wasn't going to video this today. I've been, uh, you know, burning up the last of the trash, the stuff that used to be sitting up here. It's it's all gone. This is the last of it for back here for now. Um, wasn't going to film this. I figured y'all were tired of me burning crap by now. Um, but as I was sitting here raking coals, heard some crazy noise, looked up, um, and there's like a herd of rabbits just running across the ground right there. Yeah, I didn't get any of it on film. I was too busy playing with the fire. And about the time that I actually noticed that it was rabbits, um, I heard the dogs barking um, over here in the trees. Dogs are going crazy. Arr, arr, arr. Um, like, holy shit, rabbits are gone. Dogs missed out. Um, so I started calling, you know, if it was Jake from Craig's farm. Yes, I said that, Jake from Craig's farm. Um, Jake's a hound dog. His owner lets him run a little rampant uh, down at the end of the property. Um, Jake's come up and taken a nap on my porch. Um, I, I met him, ended up, you know, talking to the old landowner so I could find out whose dog it was, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Jake from Craig's Farm. It's okay. Um, so I started calling Jake. The dog didn't come to me, so I'm assuming it's not Jake. Um, and then I got to thinking, well, maybe it's a coyote. And the reason why I think maybe it's a coyote, um, I don't know if you can see it through the trees. I don't want to get too close. There we go. That big black mound right there. Nope, that's the one that's moving. There you go. The one in front of it on the ground that's not moving. Um, that's my neighbor's cows. And that cow has been laying there since 10 o'clock. It's not moved. It's not mooed. I'm quite sure it's dead. Um, I'm quite sure it went into childbirth and just didn't make it. Um, but I'm assuming for the next couple of days until he either moves the carcass or until the coyotes eat it all, I'm going to have coyotes around the property routinely. So, yeah, welcome to my world. You hear the dog? Again, it sounds like a dog to me, so I don't think it's coyotes. And the, as far as I know, coyotes are usually not active yet. But I don't know. And like I said, if I got a dead cow carcass right there on the other side of the fence, I just don't know. So, time for needed to be careful. And um, I will talk at you all later. There are some things that make me really, really sad. Um, there are two cows here that are calling out to this one that is past. Um, I don't know, kind of like asking it, you know, get up. It's time to, it's time to go get dinner. Um, you know, it's like they know she's not supposed to be lying there. That she needs to get up and come on. Everybody's going back to the barn. It's time. So I just have those moments when when people talk about animals like they're just they're just animals and don't I don't know don't understand or don't know things. You see things like this, and you think otherwise. You know, I guarantee you, these cows know that something's wrong. And that she's part of the herd. You know? And they might not have the words for it. Just craziness. Sorry, I had, had something on my leg. I mean, you know, I know the cows, I know we drink their milk, and I know we eat their meat, so on, on the line, I got that. It's just the, yeah, there's a connection there. There will always be a connection there.
All right. Y'all have a great night. So, I want to end this on a happy note. Don't like ending things sad. There are places on the property, and this happens to be one of them, where it's 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 like a natural little cove. Um, you can kind of see where it, it, it scoots in, and then it comes back out. Um, I actually want to expand on this just a little. Um, not today. You know, I'm still cleaning stuff up, so. Um, but it's, it's a little cove. So if you stand here straight, you can see that, you know, it's, there's a line there. And kind of there's a line there that curves around, but you've still got cove. You've got plenty of room to walk in. And if I clean it up and get rid of the scrub that's in here, you know, kind of make those four trees the wall and that tree over there and the, the grapevine there, the wall on that side. You can actually put like a bench and a table or something in here. And the whole object of that is there is a view here that is just really, really pretty. Um, you know, you can see all the way over to the mountains you can see where you're just starting to get some of the yellows and the oranges from the uh, the fall season that's coming. You can kind of see it on that side too. Um, but if you clean up the scrub, you'll actually be able to just, you know, sit here and do breakfast or, you know, have have a, oops, sorry, club's in the way. Have a, have a drink, you know, when I'm out here burning trash, can have a place to sit and have lunch or something. I mean, just, it's a really pretty view. Um, not number one on the list of stuff to do, just something to add to the list to, to make this just a little, I don't know, a little nook, a little, you know, you can tell there's nothing but trees and forest that way and nothing but tree line that way. It side's a little thinner because it's so close to that, the, the far corner of the property. Um, I should have you looking out. So, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do here. You know, long term, we'll see. I think that'll be awesome. And with that, y'all have a good evening.